Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, I want to take a look at a question related to the Forest Nothing map. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a map where there's nothing but forest. Kind of self-explanatory, really. You have to chop in order to make a clear space for farms, and then use the market to get other resources. You can think of it as a cross between solitary confinement and a forced labor camp. Anyway, it got me wondering how long would it take a lone Dark Age villager to chop all the wood on a giant map? Just one villager. No upgrades, no new lumber camps, no breaks, no vacation days, and definitely no overtime. Take a guess at which option you think is closest to the real world time it would take on a game running at fast speed, and hang on to that guess for the moment. We'll see if you're right. Now to find the answer. I'll set up a villager with a lumber camp in the middle of a giant map, and I'll time lapse it at 2000 times speed while I go out for a walk. On second thought, this is going to take a while. In fact, that's as far as he got in four and a half real life hours. This isn't going to work. We're going to have to do it with math. So first of all, if this is a giant map, it's 240 tiles along each edge, giving us 57,600 trees. That's almost 6 million wood for him to collect. Dark Age Lumberjacks collect a little over 23 wood per minute, which gives around 247,000 minutes to collect just the wood, assuming he can teleport to new trees. It also takes two and a half seconds to cut down a tree, so adding that time in as well gives us another 2400 minutes. Now we need to think about the total walking time. This is not as easy to figure out, though one nice thing is we don't really have to factor in what order he cuts them. But it still leaves us with the question of how can you add up the distance to every tree on the map? Well, to start with, finding the distance to any particular tree from the lumber camp can be seen as just the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So all we need to do is calculate the distance using Pythagorean theorem. Now just do that 57,594 more times to get it for every tree on the map and then add them all together. The problem is even calculating those at one per second would still be over 16 hours. If you think about it though, we don't really need to calculate all of them. We can reduce that work by cutting the grid into four quadrants, assuming our lumber camp is in the middle, and then just use the Pythagorean theorem for every tree in that quadrant and just multiply by four. All we need is a process to automate that. If we just think about the grid within a quadrant as well, any tree we pick has a unique tile that can be described by some number to the right and some number down from the lumber camp. Every tree is going to have a unique combination of those numbers, which makes the two sides of a triangle. The fact that every tree is just a different coordinate of right and down movements means that we can automate the calculation with an Excel spreadsheet. I won't get into it too much, but basically it's doing the Pythagorean theorem with the tree's row and column number. The point is each cell represents a tree and is telling us how many tiles it is directly away from the lumber camp. You can see the example that was seven to the right and two down gives us the same distance as before, but much faster than calculating by hand. The giant map extends 119 tiles away from the lumber camp in each direction, so we just add all the numbers going out that far and you get a sum of just over 1.3 million tiles. That's the distance to visit each tree one way, or at least a reasonable estimate. Multiply it by two for a round trip, times 10 for the number of trips per tree without wheelbarrow, and then times four since this is just for one quadrant. In the end, we get a total walking distance of over 105 million tiles. I get the sense he'll probably reach his Fitbit goal for the day. Villagers walk 0.8 tiles per second, meaning to walk back and forth 10 times from every tree would take him over 2 million minutes. Adding that to our overall count before, we get a total of about 2.4 million minutes, or a little over 40,000 hours of game time. Since we're doing this on fast speed, we divide that by two, and get a final answer of about two years, three months, and three weeks of real time. Almost 90% of which is taken up by walking. Sounds like he's got his work cut out for him. Or actually, he'll be the one cutting, but you know what I mean. If anyone would like to verify that experimentally, you're more than welcome to do so. 
On the plus side, you'll end up with more than five and a half million wood. So you're really gonna be set up for a post-imperial trash war. Just for curiosity's sake, here are the results for some other map sizes as well. They can range from just under four months to over 17 real life years. Just looking at the ludicrous sized map on its own, a tree in the corner as far away from the lumber camp as possible takes an hour and 14 minutes of real time to cut. And that's just one tree out of over 230,000. So how close was your guess? The correct answer for a giant map was of course option D. For me, the walking distance added up faster than I expected, but certainly makes sense in retrospect. And it was a fun problem to try to work out. That's all for this one though. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.